What's going on there, folks? Good morning, good afternoon out there. It's the Earthmaster here on this Thursday, September 22nd, 2022 date. Uh, it is about 11.55 a.m. California time. Lots of twos there in the date today. Uh, we did have uh, another earthquake out there around the Mexico area come in late last night. Time frame, another 6.8. Originally came in as a 7.0. That did get downgraded a little bit uh, by the USGS and the EMSC models. Let's go ahead and take a look across the flat scale model Earth here for the uh, latest earthquakes here across the region. Uh, of course, there's that 6.8 striking in that same area where we've seen the 7.6 uh, hit a few days ago now, a couple days ago, right within that region aftershock activity uh, continuing. So far, that 6.8 is the largest earthquake to hit this region. Um, I did pull up the uh, historical data here along this portion of the Middle America Trench and I uh, kind of wanted to show you guys what's out here as far as historical data goes. Uh, specifically within this region right here, we've had uh, quite a bit of large earthquake activity, including an 8.0 back in 1985. Um, kind of within the area where the 7.6 struck a couple days ago. Basically within this area right here, uh, let me double check and make sure we're within that region. Yes, we are. So within this area, I've seen quite a bit of earthquake activity. I just want to focus on these right now, though. Uh, there's a 7.6. It looks like it's the strongest or the uh, second strongest to hit the area um, historically. Anyway, there was a another 7.6 back in 1941, back in 1911. Looks like, uh, kind of looks like reoccurrence uh, intervals are roughly around 30 years or so. But uh, yeah, 8.0 within this region back in 1985. Um, and again, there's, there's, a, there's always a possibility of seeing something much larger. Here's a little seismic gap within this zone right here. Uh, I don't really see any earthquakes here. But as uh, far as basically far as the magnitudes go here um in comparison you know an 8.0 could possibly happen around here and it would be much stronger than the 7.6 uh for example if you got a uh, uh a 7.0 on the uh magnitude scale that's uh and you have an eight pointer occur afterwards that eight pointer is basically going to be 10 times bigger than the magnitude 7.0 so um you know, there's a lot of energy released by just a couple number differences on the uh, magnitudes. This area is uh, a hot spot for uh, movement, that's for sure. You got uh, Middle America Trench down here, and it extends a little bit up into here as well. You can see the trench line. Um, I'm not for sure what the slip rate is on here, but it's got to be somewhat high uh, with the... Uh, Pacific plate here to the west. You got the Cocos plate down here kind of uh, being shoved underneath the uh, uh, portions of the North American plate. All right, let's see what else we got here around the world right now. I'm back out of here. All magnitudes. There we go. Check out the West Coast. See what's been going on since uh, that earthquake last night. Well, no new swarms to report here along the southern end of the San Andreas Fault. Uh, I guess that's kind of good news right now. A couple small earthquakes around the San Jacinto Fault Zone and up here around Ridgecrest, but not a whole lot of buildup here in this area today. Uh, Bay Area about the same as yesterday. Uh, some movement up north into Northern California. Looks like right around the Shasta Lake area near Bella Vista. Uh, some earthquakes down there at about yeah, 13 to 14 kilometers below the uh, Trinity Mountains area. Uh, and over here around the coast, Cascadia subduction zone, this activity here from yesterday. A couple small earthquakes there on the southern end. Um, let's see, what do we have overnight? We had a 3.9 into the Blanco fracture zone kick up. Kick up. And further up north, uh, just off, looks like it's just off the coast here of Washington. A 3.5 coming in earlier this morning time frame. Now that's 37 kilometers deep. That lets me know that it's a... Uh, subduction zone earthquake the cascadia extends up here as well right up here to this uh, plate boundary all the way down off the coast and into northern california got a big hunk of land here that's been shoved underneath the north american plate called the juan de fuca plate over here 
And uh, there's actually three separate plates here. If you want to get down to the details, you got the Explorer plate up north. Cuts off right about uh, right about in this level here, I believe. You got the Juan de Fuca plate, and then down here, south of this line right here, imaginary line, you got the Gordo plate. But that's all kind of being just shoved underneath the uh, uh, North American plate there, building up for the next big one. A uh, little activity into the South America region overnight, it looks like. We had at least one, a 4.2, some of this movement here from yesterday. Uh, out there on the big island, let's see what we got cooking over here. A little bit of activity uh, around the Mona Loa area today. A little bit of swarming. Some of that from last night. Uh, one earthquake here within the last hour, a little 1.8. No major developments, though, at the... Uh, the uh, Mauna Loa Volcano, we do like to check that on occasion, so we'll run over that real quick, see what we got. Everything's uh, still pretty much as is here in the Pacific. Let's see what we got for Mauna Loa. Latest update, uh, this is just our weekly update put out, uh, looks like today. Time frame, uh, the volcano is not erupting. Rates of seismicity remain slightly elevated above long-term background levels. Um, all the other monitoring systems, uh, uh, GPS, gas concentrations, visual appearance show no significant changes. So uh, nothing major going on there yet. Definitely keep an eye on it for sure. All right, over here looking at the rest of the map on the Western Pacific, coming to a kind of coming to a halt right here along the Philippine plate boundary and the Pacific Plate northward. Uh, we did have some activity yesterday around the Tokyo area. Not a whole lot of westward push right now. We are starting to back uh, backfill, backfill some of these earthquakes um, along the plate boundary here. Along this region of New Zealand, they had a 5.2 kicking up overnight. Uh, and also some other earthquake activity north here of the North Island, a little 4.2. That one's pretty deep though. Um, and, of course, the Hikurangi subduction zone extends within this area. Might want to watch for some surface uh, quakes a little bit further, a little bit more shallower when we see that deeper activity. Up here around Samoa, seeing a 5.2. It looks like the latest quake here within this region, aside from Hawaii. Not coming in at uh, 20 kilometers deep there. Could be a couple hot spots here in this area today to get things further going to the west. All right, uh, what else we got here for Yellowstone National Park? Just going to make this a quick update here. Swarming is still continuing. It's been continuing here now for a couple weeks now. It's uh, there's the uh, <clears throat> 6.8 showing up there. Looks like there was uh, kind of looks like there was two earthquakes there. Yeah, maybe there's two earthquakes somewhere. Let me check on the map here real quick again. See what was kicking up around that time frame. We had a 6.8. That was at 0616 time frame. So 0616, 06... 15, there we go. So I guess that's kind of the start of it. And then uh, to me, it kind of looks like there's another earthquake in the shadow of the um of the first one you guys see that here's a here's a main one and then we get these s waves but it looks like there's another stronger signature in that mix uh, and i don't see it there was no other larger quake here in the area um, around the globe a 5.2 in tonga is not going to show up there on yellowstone uh, six pointer yes but uh, I can't help but wonder, maybe there was a second earthquake in that mix there roughly around the same time, because it sure looks like it. And it did show up across the uh, across the board right there, and then another one, a little stronger one here as well. So, And then the S-wave's coming. So we'll, we'll keep checking back on that. Uh, but, but far as seismic activity continuing over the last uh, you know couple weeks or so, morning time frame, afternoon time frame here as well, getting in on quite a few earthquakes. I don't believe the USGS is uh, reporting all of them yet. Um, it does take them a little while to get some of them in there. Let's go in a little bit. Yeah, there's a lot more than eight earthquakes, so they must be super busy today or uh, 
they're just not really caring about the smaller ones. But uh, looking at this map, 24 hours, all magnitudes. And then looking at this map, 24 hours of earthquake activity there at Yellowstone. Uh, there's definitely a lot more than eight. All right, rest of the country, um, let's see what we got here. Oklahoma swarming a little bit throughout the state. I'm sure most of those are around the oil fields operations out there. Um, let's check out on the satellite view here real quick, see what we got. Uh, oh, yeah. Quite a bit of uh, pumping operations out here, looks like. These squares, it looks like some uh, community right here, but all these squares, these little gravel roads that lead to a, uh, uh, you can see them a little bit, these tanks, these oil fields. And there's uh, quite a few around the area. All right, uh, see anything going on across the eastern country? Uh, not a whole lot. Alaska, some movement up here as well today. Uh, looks like we got a little bit of swarming back around the, uh, isn't that the Trident Volcano? Yeah, a little bit more swarming out there around the Trident Volcano area. That's kind of been swarming off and on over the past month or so. We'll keep checking back on that. All right, real quick check of space weather. And I got to get off here real quick. Uh, not a whole lot going on, but uh, on the 23rd time frame, looks like that's going to be UTC time. Uh, we are probably going to be getting a G1 class storm, at least maybe a, hopefully well, it could be a near miss, near hit. 65% chance of uh, seeing some auroras at the higher latitudes with 25% chance at the mid latitudes. No major flares kicking off right now. Uh, sunspot activity is growing uh, and that's from 3107, 3105. They're creating a, a train of sunspots across the southeastern side of the sun. And um, we're gonna watch those pretty closely as they rotate into view and see if they get complex in their fields and maybe produce an M flare. So I'd like to see a couple X flares myself, some strong ones, but no doubt we'll see them. We will definitely see them as we head towards solar maximum. That's, uh, that's a given, just a matter of time. All right, folks, I'm gonna bounce out of here. Uh, earthquake activity listed up on the map, um, EMSC and the USGS model here. So EMSC is gonna show all these smaller quakes there in the three and two range. And there's quite a cluster out here around the Mediterranean region. Uh, it looks like around Italy as well, right? I believe that's the Italy area. Let me see. Yeah, Northern Italy seeing a little bit of swarming up there uh, with that recent quake there on the map of 4.0. No big ones yet, but uh, could be, considering that swarming activity that's kicking up there right now. All right, guys, we're going to jump off here. Have a good day. Stay safe, and we will chat you guys sometime soon. Peace out.